Rick, what stood out to you the most about the way Miles played over this four-game homestand? Just, I, I love his consistency. You know, it's <clears throat> he's just doing the simple, repeatable things that put him in a strong position to play well and help his team. So, um, I think in most in most team sports, simplicity is a huge, enormously important word because. You know, the simpler you can make things for a group, um, the better the group's going to function. And I just, you know, I just like everything he's doing on both sides of the ball. I just really like the way he's playing. I, I, like, I like his approach. I like his vibe. Um, he's made everything about the team and, and just preparing himself to help the team every single day. And stuff about shots and touches and position that's that's old news you know should be old news you're talking about simplifying in what ways have you or is that to the greater point of the team or specifically to mine everything everything but 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 i think one reason that you know that he's played so consistently well is that he's playing to his strengths on a game to game basis i mean um and he's playing a, a very low stress game that highlights you know his abilities so that's great i mean everything from you know the offensive side to the defense side of the ball like the end of the game the other night i mean isaiah had a great run that helped get us a lead and, and got us a little bit of a cushion and and then it was time for miles to go in and, and help close it and he closed it you know with couple of simple, really good simple plays offensively, and he blocked a couple shots. I mean, that's that's how it's got to be. You talked to the after last game about barely calling any plays it seemed like in the second half. Are you calling maybe the fewest plays of your career? Is that maybe a fair statement? Uh, among, among the fewest, yeah, of course, yeah, easily. And I just, I mean, I've really gotten away from that really since, I don't know when, before 2010 probably. Um, the game is a, is a flowing game, and when you have point guards like ours that can make those calls and trigger our team into, into quick actions, we're going to play better. We're going to play better. We're going to be more unpredictable. We're going to be harder to guard. You always talk about really not liking the saw in the first half on Saturday, but obviously the took what you told them at halftime and obviously executed. I guess just what's it say for these guys that they can change a game like that they can, they, they, it's bad as they were playing in the first half, they're capable of flipping this split. Well again it was just it was about keying in on a couple of simple things. Um, ball movement and finding 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 it, the best shot on offense and defensively just fighting harder individually and as a group. And uh, they did a great job. It's not, it's very difficult to play from behind, you know, even when you're at home. I mean, it's I mean, down 13 at halftime is, that's a big deficit. And so you got to chip away. And you know, many times what happens is a team will get back even, they'll kind of exhale a little bit, and the, other, then the team will make another run and be up five again, you know, something like that. And, and that did happen, but we just, we kept pressure on them. And, you know, we did we did what we needed to do to give ourselves a chance. Um, the more the more important thing about what happened is, you know, our whole group learned about how important it is to be unselfish offensively and to fight defensively. You know? and it's just it's going to be a nonstop theme for our team this year. With the second unit right now, does it change anything for you playing with you know the, the Halliburton groups versus the McConnell lineups? Uh, I mean, yeah, they're different. They're different players, but they're both pass-first point guards, and they love to get their teammates involved. So it's not terribly different, and it's not too major of adjustment going from one to the other. So it's just reading the flow of the game and playing at their pace. A ton of young guys have talked about how TJ's helped them with something he's done as a veteran, something he does on the floor. Has he helped you in any specific way? You feel like? Yeah, TJ's been in my ear all the time. Like pretty much any time I get any sliver of space, I let it fly. So TJ's making sure I get him up. Have you enjoyed the consistent role you've had here compared to last year where it was choppier or harder to get a consistent role? Um, absolutely. It's been a lot of fun playing here. The, the role here I love. It's fun. 
Um, it's what I do best, so I'm just happy to be here and continue to expand and grow. In what ways did it take you a minute to get your feel back you know, after um, the injury? It takes a couple games, practices, um, you know, nothing like game reps. So, um, you know, go out there, take your licks at first, and get back in the rhythm and pick up right where you left off. What what, what took a minute to get right? Was it a shot? Uh, yeah, I would say just, you know, like stamina, stamina on both sides of the ball going from – uh, you know, guarding the best player on one side and then having the stamina and the legs to be in your shot on the other end. So that was the first thing to, you know, get back a little bit. I know, uh, Rick obviously talked a lot about, you know, uh, the first half on Saturday night, how you guys just weren't playing the way that you wanted to, but you obviously were able to change that around, I guess. What's it say for you guys that you were able to kind of determine the way the game was played in the second half after you uh, fell behind that much? You know, dictated, dictated what we wanted to dictate and played the game that we wanted to play um, and we forced, forced the Raptors to play to our pace and play to what we wanted them to do and once we started doing that and played with force, the game became easy. Just what to say for this group that it's come together that quickly, that it can do that, that it can decide to flip a switch? Uh, like, uh, I think it's just how close-knitted every guy, every person here is. Everybody wants to get better, everybody wants to win um, and then when we all come together with the same mindset, our connection off the floor helps us on the floor. This is your first year with O'Shea. He was out of the rotation at first. Now he's playing almost every game for you guys. How have you seen him grow within this unit as the years progress? Uh, same thing. Like he's just he's doing what's asked of him, and he's doing it at a high level. Um, so it's, it's as long as he continues to do that, shoot the ball well, and he does what he does on both sides of the floor, he's going to continue to get more and more playing. What has it been like? So many different lineups, guys. You know, started with that. That second group, I think it was, and then to the starters and back and forth. How have you kind of assimilated with everyone, trying to uh, figure each other's game out? Yeah, it was just, you know, learning learning your teammates, learning their spots, learning where they like the ball, how, where they shoot the best from. Um, you know, all those little things, you get that from playing with each other and putting different lineups out there and seeing what works best. Um, so it's just it's been a lot of fun experimenting and playing with everybody. Have you been able to do anything very different than previous years, or is it simply just opportunity and being out there? That's just simply opportunity and being out there and uh, having a more expanded role. So uh, I'm loving it. Yeah. So, Thank you. Quick one. Just, uh, what, is, what is it about this group that allows it to play fast even when everybody else wants you not to? I guess if there's another, yeah, another team certainly going to stop you from playing. We're I mean, we're, shape, we're in shape, and then our point guards just grab the ball and go. So as soon as they get the ball uh, from the boards uh, off of mate and they push it, push the tempo, we got to run with them. So uh, it's really their pace that keeps us in front. I also say, I guess, that you were able to make eventually make them play your game as opposed to the other way around. They really don't want you to run. You know, they don't want anybody to run. They specifically don't want you to run. Yeah. You guys managed to do it. What does it say for you guys that you're still able to dictate pace and tempo? Just, our, you to just our execution of our game plan. I think that we came out um, with, a, with a pretty decent plan. We are able to execute it at first, but... Um, we work on our we work on our stuff every day. You know our pace after offense, or just our um, you know, our defensive schemes and whatnot. And you know I think it was just a great second half, great bounce back for us, especially in the fourth quarter when we think only gave up like 14, 16 points in that game. In terms of the makeup of this group, what, what allows you guys to run when nobody wants you to? Tyrese is a big part of it, man. He sees everything, and um, we know when you give him the ball, or you know, even teach him a comma or Drew, just get out there. They're gonna make the right play. So just having um, um, us trusting our um, you know, point guards. You talked earlier this season about how you feel like you're rolling, cutting to the basket a little more often. Have you liked how that's kind of helped you with this group? Yeah, definitely. It's um, it's what I wanted to do. I know I'm capable of shooting the ball, but you know I know I got to use my frame down low. And that's what I put a lot of work in on. And the shots are just um, the outside shots is coming within the flow of the offense and the flow of the game. So it's not like I'm putting emphasis on that. I'm just trying to get to uh, get to the right spots and uh, play the five position properly. Does it allow you to be a little more assertive when you get a little more? Absolutely, yeah. You know, it's, it's up to me to make myself more demonstrative down there. You know, more calls, and my guys are looking for me. And um, you know, another big right place. Do you, get, say, do you get scratched in the eye or anything? Yeah, I got poked. I got like a little. You probably see a little red spot. It just, it just it happens. You know, when you're in the paint, a lot of, a lot of bodies down there. And it is what it is. Is that a game or today in practice? No, it happened in the game. Okay. Um, um, I think it was Gary Trent Jr. poked me in the eye. It just happened throughout the course of the game. I lost my contact, but felt there's a this. Are you as kind of in terms of your your build? Like you look as cut or as trim as maybe ever. Are you in a good spot for where you want to be right now? Yeah, I'm in a great spot. You know, I put in a put in a lot of work this past off season. You know, obviously um, not playing a lot last year gave me more time to work on my body. You know, get my diet right and whatnot, and um, you know just. Uh, Continue to work on myself, you know, mentally and physically. That was a big summer for me. You know, I've carried it over into the season, and 
Um, I like where my physique's at. I want to stay there. I saw you went back from the Kobe's back to the PG1s. What led to that specific change here a couple weeks ago? Um, just I'm going to change it up every other week. I mean, it's just comfortability. That's the biggest thing for my feet. It's just um, make sure I'm wearing the right shoe, make sure I'm wearing the most comfortable shoes. And, um, you know, just um, that's, that's what it was. These are probably the most comfortable shoes I've worn. Haven't, haven't had too many pairs of them since. Um, like three, four years ago, but between the Kobe and the PGs, you know, my favorite shoes. Miles, you've seen a lot of rookies come through here. What, what has struck you about that today? Um, it's confidence, man, demeanor. I think that he, um, he's very, very detail oriented, and um, I think he just wants to compete, wants to win. So, um, the confidence that he just brings to, that, that he shows about himself, it kind of is very, um, how you say, um, I guess contagious, you know, contagious to the rest of the group. I'm glad you got the word because I didn't know what it was. You mentioned Tyrese. How, how do you, has he made you more comfortable uh, um, playing with my card like that? I think for, for him, it's just our, our relationship, it's communication, man. He talks to me about the game. Um, I think a lot of it is just knowing that he sees it. He does see everything, so I know I'm not running for no reason. I know I'm not getting to a spot for a reason. Like I know that if I make, if, if I make the right play, he's going to make the right play. So I think it's just a matter of um, that chemistry and that synergy we're building. You know, we didn't obviously didn't have a chance to play together last year. So, you know, this is an important time for us right now to kind of keep building that. And I think to that point, you'll get rewarded if you do make that run or things like that. Right? Whereas maybe in the years past, you might be not noticed or it'll go elsewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Even if it's not me, if I make the right run, someone in the corner is going to get it because someone has to tag or, um, you know, or Tyrese is going to make that right play. So, I mean, I just, um, just keep to work on myself, like I said, just keep, keep my physique my body the right way. You played with Isaiah more recently than maybe ever before early in the season. What have you liked about that group and how it's fit in on Defense, both ends for you guys? Yeah, defensively, I think Isaiah is capable of guarding the perimeter. You know, I and myself, and, um, you know, we're both uh, elite shot blockers, so, you know, we were able to protect the paint, and um, uh, just kind of helps us throughout that whole, um, uh, defensively helps us a lot.